So hello there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So after nating ma-discuss yung topics on special products, so we will now go to uh, another topic. So for this video lesson, we will be discussing so the difference between algebraic expressions, equations, and inequalities. So para mas malinawan po tayo, magkakaroon po tayo ng mga uh, examples. So let's start. So, for our lesson objectives, we will differentiate algebraic expressions, equations, and inequalities. And then after that, we will illustrate linear equation and linear inequality in one variable. So, first on the list, what is an algebraic expression? So when we say algebraic expression, it is an expression which composed of constants and variables. So na discuss ko na po yung algebraic expression dun sa introduction ng algebra. So binubuo po siya ng constants. So yung constants, ito po yung mga numbers. And then yung variables naman, ito naman po yung mga letters. So constants, yung mga numerical coefficients. And then variables, ang mga literal coefficients. So, examples of algebraic expressions are 12. So, yung 12 constant po yan. And then, x, y, z. So, variables po yan. Then, a, b plus 3. So, combination po siya ng constants and variables. So, a, b plus 3 is a binomial. So, binomial has two terms. And then, we also have m squared and n squared. So, so meron din po tayong uh, algebraic expressions na Combination po ng variables and exponents or powers. So, yung mga powers, ayan po yung 2 squared. And then, we also have the square root of x minus 5. So, radical expression po yung square root of x minus 5. So, ang tawag po dun sa symbol na ginamit is radical. And then, after algebraic expression, next is equation. So, ano nga ba ang equation? So, an equation is a mathematical statement which shows two quantities are equal or of the same value. Okay, so kapag equation tayo, it means yung magkabilang side ay equal. So, meron silang parehong sagot. And then, to denote equation, we use the equal symbol. So, yung equal po yan, like for example... 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. And then, if we will add 1 and 5, this is 6. And that is equal to 6. So, ibig sabihin na equation, both sides are equal. So, two quantities are equal or of the same value. So, 6 equals 6. So, let's have root or solution. So, a root or solution is any particular value of a variable that makes the equation a true statement. So, meron tayong equation and then kapag sinold natin yung equation na yun is makakuha tayo ng particular value. And then, that is what we call a root or solution. So, yung value na yun is nakuha lang natin, obtain lang natin dun sa equation na yun. So, hindi lahat ng value is isa satisfy niyo yung given equation. So, let's have an example. So, in x plus 6 is equal to 8, 2 is the only solution which will make the equation true. Okay. So, if we solve natin equation na x plus 6 is equal to 8, so, ang ma-obtain po nating value is only 2. It's because 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. So, ang nag-iisang solution ng ating equation is 2 lang po. So, there are no other uh, value that will make the equation true except 2. So, hindi siya pwedeng maging negative 1, negative 3, positive 5, 10. So, the only solution is 2. So, we also have equivalent equations. So, equivalent equations are equations that have the same solution. So, pareho po yung solution ng no? uh, mga equations na yun. So, like for example, x plus 2 is equal to 7 and x minus 5 is equal to 0 are equivalent equations wherein the only solution is 
5. So, meron tayong dalawang equation dito. So, x plus 2 is equal to 7. And then, the other equation is x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, kung isosolve po natin yung dalawang equations na yan, makakahuko po tayo ng solution which is 5. So, to check, so 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. That is correct. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. That is also correct. So, yung dalawang equations na yan are equivalent. So, pareho sila ng solution. We also have an identity equation. So, what is an identity equation? So, an identity equation is an equation that is satisfied by every number for which both sides are true and defined. So, let's have an example for identity equation. So, like for example, ayan, x minus 5 is equal to x minus 5 is true for all real numbers. So, ibig sabihin lang po ng identity equation, kahit anong real number, isa satisfy niyo yung uh, equation. So, true siya both sides. Like for example, kung ang value ng x natin is 9, so 9 minus 5 is 4, and then on the right side, 9 minus 5 is equal to 4 also. That is why 4 is equal to 4. So again, any real number, magiging solution po siya ng uh, given equation. So magiging true siya both sides. And then magiging defined yung ating equation. So we'll now move on to inconsistent equation. So, an inconsistent equation is an equation that has no solution at all. So, loud and clear. So, ito pong equation na to, wala po siyang solution. So, kahit anong gawin nating pag-solve sa kanya, pag-apply ng mga concepts, wala po tayong makukuhang solution. Wala po tayong makukuhang sagot. Like, for example, the equation x is equal to x plus 8 has no solution. So, Sipin natin, the value of x is 5. And then, if we substitute the value of x into the equation, magiging ganito siya. 5 is equal to 5 plus 8. 5 is equal to 5 plus 8, that is 13. Is 5 equal to 13? No. Therefore, this equation is an inconsistent equation. So, kahit anong gawin natin, pagsagot, Pag-solve, pag-compute, wala po tayong makukuhang solution. Another one is a conditional equation. So, a conditional equation is an equation that has at least one solution but it is not an identity. So, like for example, so, the equation x plus 4 is equal to negative 7 is true only on the condition that x is equal to negative 11. So, ibig sabihin ng ating equation na x plus 4 is equal to negative 7, magiging true lang siya if and only if the value of x is negative 11. So, there are no other values of x that will make uh, the given equation true. So, let's now move on to linear equation. So, when can we say that an equation is linear? So, we can say that an equation is linear if that equation has degree 1. So, yung pinakamataas na degree po ng uh, equation na yon ay 1. So, there are different equations po kasi na nagbe-base tayo dun sa degree. So, yung pinakamataas na exponent, pinakamataas na degree or power. So, let's have an example of linear equation. So, x plus 3 is equal to 0 is a linear equation with one variable wherein there is a specific value of x which will make the statement correct. So, kung papansinin po natin ang equation natin, x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, nagbe-base po tayo dun sa degree niya, dun sa mga variable. So, yung variable po natin dito is x. So, you can see. Yung variable x po, yung degree po niya is 1. So, kapag hindi po nakasulat yung degree ng variable na yun, understood na 1. Okay. Yung degree po kasi ng mga constant terms like 3 ay 0. So, that is why x plus 3 is equal to 0 is a linear equation. So, kasi yung highest degree niya is 1. So, yan lang po yung linear equation. So, kung meron tayong equations, meron din tayong 
inequality. So, yung iba tinatawag siya in equations, not equations. So, how do we differentiate an equation from an inequality? So, when we say inequality, it is a mathematical statement which shows two quantities are not equal. So, yung equation po, two quantities are equal. Pag inequality, not equal po siya. So, that is why dun sa inequality, so yung prefix na in, it indicates not. So, kapag dinedenote natin yung inequality, hindi po equal symbol ang ating ginagamit. It's because exclusive lang yun for equation. So, kapag inequality na ang pinag-uusapan natin, so yung mga symbols na pwede natin gamitin are less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or the not equal symbol. So, alin man dyan sa mga symbols na yan, so, na pwede natin gamitin to indicate inequality. So, kung meron tayong linear equations, meron din po tayong tinatawag na linear inequality. So, a linear inequality is an inequality of a degree 1. So, kagaya lang linear equation, so yung highest degree po na inequality na yan is 1. Tandaan po natin kapag linear, degree 1 po siya. So, let's have examples. So, ayan. So, meron po tayong mga examples. X plus 2 is less than negative 5. X minus 7 is greater than 8. 3X plus 2 is greater than or equal to 11 and 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to negative 14. So, examples po yan ng mga uh, linear inequalities. So, as you can see, apat po yung inequality symbols na ginamit natin dyan. Unlike yung linear equation, nag-iisa lang po using the equality symbol. So, yung equal sign. So, yan lang po yung pinakaiba ng uh, linear equation tsaka linear inequality. And then, sa expression naman, algebraic expression, so wala po yung equal sign, wala din po yung inequality symbol. So, after discussing with you the difference between algebraic expressions, equations, and ex uh, inequality, next topic will be Solving linear equations in one variable algebraically. So, kanina na-introduce na po sa inyo yung linear equations. So, na kung saan, merong mga particular values na sinasatisfy yung given equation. So, makikita nyo po yan sa susunod na video lesson. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.